So we're all done at uh, Bob's Solar Farm here, <clears throat> wherever it is. And we're going to go and send it back to the computer. So we're going to go on the little burger menu there. I'm going to go back to the home. And then we're going to go to, I think we can either do, nope, we can't do it like that. We can go open local file, imported projects, and uh, it should be one of the ones there. So it's there, Bob's Solar Farm near the top. And we can either do export to folder, and we can send it to another folder on our phone. But I find a bit easier is send compressed folder to dot dot dot, which will zip it up, um, and then you can send it via various various routes to uh, to the computer. So you can either do it by Bluetooth, um, stick it on uh, on Google Drive or OneDrive if you've got Teams installed on your phone. Um, so yes, choose your choose your option for sending it to the computer. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. You can also just email it. Um, bear in mind that if it's got a lot of pictures, it's going to be quite big. So in that case, something like Google Drive or OneDrive is probably the best bet. Um, or you can also copy it to a folder uh, and then just plug your phone into the computer and copy it off there. Um, so yeah, pick an option that works for you, um, and then I will. I'll see you on the other side. So I went for, oh you're on that screen over there, um, <laughs> hello, I went for um, uploading it to one to Google Drive, um, so here's all my folders, uh, my files from uh, from Keyfield, um, these are the pictures that I've taken, um, obviously if you've taken more there will be more in there, and what you're going to do with this is you're just going to download it to the computer, again if you've emailed it, There we go, should we stop finishing downloading now? Sorry, I've got slow internet, so I paused it. Um, what we're gonna do then, we're going to stick that into my folder. So this is my, my project folder. And it's a zip file at the minute, so there's not much you can do with that. <coughs> Apart from, uh, we're going to, so this is something called 7-zip, you might not have it. Uh, what you might have instead is, um, it might just look like that. In which case, you've got to extract it up here. So we're going to extract all. And it's on a different screen. And then, that's our original one. <coughs> what we've got, so we've got a zip file here, it says zip archive. And then I've extracted it into a new folder. So this is in a folder, it's not zipped up or anything like that, it's a normal folder. And this should all open nicely in Qfield, uh, QGIS, sorry. If we open it up, then it's going to do it on the wrong screen. When it does, I will pause. Yeah, there we go, it's loaded now. So now it should have loaded our, our little things from uh, from Keyfield there. So that's what we've had on our phone, and now we've taken it off the phone. There it is, um, and it should. Have all of the stuff we're after. Oh yeah, there we go. Picture of my keyboard. Uh, what's this one? Ah, picture of my nose. Nice. Just what you wanted. Um, <coughs> obviously, it would be related to your particular project. Um, this is just an example. So yeah, that's that's how you'd get it off and, and just check that everything's there. So if you check the attributes table, there's the, the data, um, the name of the picture, which should be in that, oops, uh, in that folder. There they are. So yeah, that's how you get them off the phone and into QGIS. So the, the important step there really is, is making sure that zip file is, is unzipped first. Um, I'm gonna put it again. <coughs> Bob's solar farm. There we go. So if you try and open it sort of through that, um, QGIS is gonna be really unhappy. I'll do it now. I'll try and do it now. Wrong screen, there we go. Um, but what it's going to do, it's going to pop up a big thing like this and say, I can't find anything. Um, fix it, fix it, fix it. Um, <clears throat> and the reason for that is these are all still in the zip file. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we can't actually open them and access them. So you've got to make sure you take them out of that zip file first uh, and then it'll work. Yeah, because otherwise you get nothing. Cool. So hopefully that. Uh, answers any of those questions.